Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to create custom endpoints uh, in IoT Hub and uh, how to bind that custom endpoint in the routes of IoT Hub. In IoT Hub, routes is used for adding the custom endpoints where you should have to uh, where your data should be uh, gone uh, while reading the messages of the devices. So that is decided by the routes. If the routes is not assigned in the IoT Hub, then your built-in endpoint reads the messages of the uh, IoT Hub. So it is compatible event hub endpoint of iot hub so this is pre soft hub is my iot hub inside this there is option message routing so inside message routing we got an options of routes we can add the routes custom endpoints we can add the custom endpoints so there are four options for adding the custom endpoints for which different type of endpoints we can add is event hub service bus queue service bus topic on storages so here i have added some event hub endpoints and some storages so in this video we will focus on event hub and in coming videos we will uh, explore more so here when i click on this add and adding the event hub so i can add here name of my this endpoint i can uh, add any test uh, event hub this is my endpoint name here i have to select this event hub namespace and then i have to select this event hub instance okay then i have to create but before creating this i will show you the event hub namespace and uh, the event hubs inside it so press event hub namespace i have opened this uh, namespace inside this we have event hub instances so namespace contains event hubs so this is the uh, part event hub 2 event hub 2 i have opened this is the name of event hub event hub 2 so inside that shared access policy contains some shared access policy uh, means uh, there are some policies for for this uh, name uh, i am allowing only send so this is created for uh, this priest soft hub means inside priest soft hub this event hub is used as a custom endpoint so this shows that so if i uh, go back and i use unattached so it's a random uh, event hub i have created and i will see the sad access policy so there is no policy yet because it is not used anywhere anywhere so when I go to home again and again I am going to the pre soft hub it is, which is my IoT hub. So in this message routing I am adding custom endpoint event hub once again test event hub I am using this pre event hub namespace that we have seen now and inside this unattach so i am using this event hub instance and there is a key based i am keeping it as key based and i am creating it once it is created we will go back and see the unattached event hub so it is taking time to create so till then you can subscribe the channel and like the video if we if you really uh, liking the uh, content i'm trying my best to explain what i have explored so it's taking time so guys we have uh, created this successfully this event hub endpoint test event hub yeah this is my credit uh, free trial remaining only 2193 indian rupees uh, so i've created over here test event hub endpoint so in this i have care uh, it is an active and this uh, two things we can vary according to our uh, data volume so once this test event hub is created it is for unattached event hub okay so when i uh, go to this event hub namespace inside this event hub namespace uh, our event hub is unattached 
so when i open this and attach we went up the sad access policy was na- not there but here for this iot hub we have created endpoint and so that's why here it is created and in our iot hub when i once again go to back to iot hub in our message routing part here i've not used in the routes part so it is only the custom endpoints so in t- inside routes how to create routes just click on add routes and after that you give a unique name and let's say test a route okay select the endpoints that you have created so there is in build endpoint and there is also containers that i have created and also the events are that i created so the test event have i've created right now so i've selected that now this is the part where we have we can write the query means uh, my message is contain temperatures uh, climate details and uh, the device uh, any feature so let's say i font the temperature 50 above messages then according to that i will put a query over here and this query will execute while uh, getting this messages from this uh, routes event up so this is the event up that i have uh, added in this route so uh, right now it is true then all messages will come inside this route so i will just and uh, save it so entering a route to an event up is an uh, important thing or we can say a a proper thing uh, which helps the iot hub to route the information from different event hub storages okay so there are hierarchies that we have to keep in the mind there is custom endpoints uh, we have to create the custom endpoints by adding some external event hub other than the iot hub or external storages not inside the iot hub and that custom endpoints we can use in routes once it is used in routes then only iot hub will take it under consideration okay then only it will take under consideration so it is created successfully so this is my test route so it is created successfully so have we have seen the message routing uh, part inside message routing there are custom endpoints creation and then that custom endpoints are used in routes but in uh, this message routing one more important thing that there is built in endpoints in the left side um, hub settings there are built in uh, endpoints so each iot hub comes with built in system endpoints to handle system and devices messages when you create new endpoints and routes so this is the important point messages stop flowing to the built in endpoints unless you create a separate route and direct them okay so this is the built in endpoints and this url we can use as an event hub of this iot hub to access the messages but when we created a routes or uh, custom endpoints and we linked in the route the single route creation will stop flowing the messages in built in endpoints so this is the by default uh, place where the messages goes if we didn't create any routes inside message routing so this is important part that i have uh, like to share with you and uh, this things i have little bit explored uh, for more information 
uh, subscribe to my channel and in further videos we will see more about iot app okay till then bye